Hello, and this is Mario Plushies, Mario Plushy fans. How to make a a port portable Wii with using a Polaroid um, DVD player and a Wii. Here are the things that you would need. The Polaroid um, DVD player that has the audio audio um, hole in the video hole and the a uh, AV out and in switch and you will need two a cord like this that can plug into the video and then this for the audio and then for the and then you will need tape a lot of tape and then for the Wii you just need all the the sensor um whatever that thing is oh yeah the power and then the thing that actually makes it come on the screen and for now, I am using this for the GameCube, because I got a GameCube game in the Wii. So let's get started. Okay, so first, you will need to get the Wii all settled up. Whoop. Get the Wii all settled up, working the way it should, so then that you can get it all ready. So I've got it all hooked up, the um, video and audio, the sensor, and the power, which you could just hook up right now if you want. And so now to the DVD player. You will need this to go in the audio and switch this to, switch this AV to in. And then you put this cord in here. It may be hard to connect this to the yellow cord, but I will show share you a cool thing how to do it. So now um, hook up the th these to the right spot that they're supposed to be in. Okay, so it's in. So now to sh now to show you that it really works for the audio. Okay, I turned it on. Blue screen means it's almost ready. So I'll turn on the Wii. It'll have the audio for it, and I'm not editing in it, editing it at all, except for like titles and stuff. So listen. That's coming from this. If you got this type of um poil poil uh, Polaroid um DVD player then It'll sound just like that if you hook it up right. So now I will turn off the Wii. And then now will be the part where I hook up the um, green to the yellow video piece. Okay, so okay, so now um, I've shown you the part where it has the audio and the Wii so now I will turn on the Wii to show you that this will work so you do okay so the thing that you do well you do this and it'll work
I had tape on it for a while, so it's kind of sticky and it isn't working right. Okay. Okay, got them washed off a little bit. Okay, so watch. Watch this. You gotta plug in this all that all the way so it would work. See, it works. So you do this up. Oh. What you do? Okay. Um, so, you do this, you do that, and then it comes up as, like that, but uh, there's like probably another cord that can do that, but I don't have it, so, um, if you find one, then you can do that, but, um, if you don't have that, then you can just watch this. So, here's the part when the tape comes in. Super tapey. So, you just tape them together like this. Uh, well, usually, what happened? This has never happened to me before. Okay, but anyway, you put on the tape here. Put on the tape. Then carefully put that on to here. And then you tape it around. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to fix this. Okay, I'm gonna have to restart the Wii. And I'll see if that works. Nope. Uh. Switch that. Oh man. This has never happened to me before. So. <laughs> I think that there's something wrong with this that doesn't work that's it might work this time darn it well technically that's how to do it but but like the Wii like the thing just didn't work right How Crap.
Okay, I'm gonna have to turn that off. Take out the battery. This. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This has never happened to me before. Wait a sec. I can just stop the camera. Okay, so I have fixed it, but um, the thing is about the the connection between the the green piece and the yellow piece of the um, input of the video and uh, the video that's coming from the Wii, it doesn't stay together that well. So, see, I'm like trying to fix it, and it can't like. If you let go of it, it's like flips out. So you're gonna have to like tape it to some flat surface, like I am doing right now. Oh, whoops. Once, like once you get it there, then it's technically almost done. <laughs> so, as you can see, they can't, like, watch this. I'm moving it around and see it, like, glitches and stuff. So, like, watch. So just don't like move it around. So now is like this and I don't really like like it like see it's like too big for it, which I do not like, but um I somehow taped it up there and I'll tape it on there now. So you stick it right here and then Okay, you stick it right here, tape it from behind. Three times. One on one end, one on the other, one in one in the middle and one at the other. And you almost got it, but you need to tape it on the sides. Ish. Well, you gotta cross it from one side and flip it over here. It, it and it doesn't affect your screen, but it's okay and just like for one side just stick it right here so then that they can stay on because you don't I don't think you really need the side parts and then you're technically like done if you want to keep it in your room or something it's not that loud if you like crank it up all the way but it makes bad noise to it so if you want it portable that i have not tried but i it's a good thing that i i'm making this video so i just thought of this you put you do this then put this up here and tape it down onto the Wii. Or something like that. Just to keep it, like, safe ish. Then you can, like, rubber, like, rubber band the stuff on it or, 
like the cords, you can rubber band it to the, to something, like keep them like not tangled. And then he got like a portable Wii, I guess. But you gotta like tape all sides. Tape this side. And then you technically got it. And you gotta make sure it doesn't take up the GameCube space if you have a GameCube game that I have right now and I'll show you an example of how it work if they like how it can work. Okay. So I've got myself a portable Wii and you're gonna have to like untape that and do it somewhere, but um so technically you got a portable Wii. Like I can move it around wherever I can, but as soon as you unplug that, you can't, like, you just, like, lose all your memory of what you've done on a GameCube game if you don't have a memory stick. Like, so, like, if I just unplug it right now while I'm playing it, I'll lose it, and, like, the game will lose all the memory of it, and, yeah. So now, I will show you an example of how it works. Okay, so now I have got it all set up right here, and now I will show you how this thing can work. Put it back here. So it looks like it is like on the TV, exactly. It's like, it just looks like it's actually from like the TV. So you can see it looks exactly from the game. Every, every same thing everything even the characters look the exact same see the stars the mushroom flowers everything see even the racetracks look the same I'm just gonna do this one race then it's gonna be the end of the video So it looks exactly like it does from the TV. And I've already like beaten the game without the memory stick. And now I have to win everything all over again, which really stinks. But but it's still a lot of fun to have like a little portable Wii that you can bring along in the car. So, um, the next, um, this is part one and part two will be, um, like tomorrow. Well, no, it could be today. If you, um, if, if I ever upload this today, which I probably will. But, um, but it looks like exactly from the game. It's cool. So, subscribe, like, and comment.
on on this video and other and my other videos that I have made so far. It doesn't get like the numbers mess mixed up or anything. So, um, this is, um, Mario Plushy Fan, um, and subscribe, like, comment, and everything of the above. So, um, see you, see you YouTubes. Bye.